tame a wilderness of rock. You don't send pioneers with plows. You build a bigger monster. Beneath our feet lies the foundation of our modern world. The steel in our cities, the copper in our electronics, the fuel that powers our lives. But to unearth these treasures, we don't just dig, we wage a war against geology itself. The soldiers in this war aren't men, but titans of steel, engineering marvels on a scale that defies imagination. Today, we're entering their world. First, meet a creature so large it has its own weather system. This isn't just a machine, it's a mobile geological event. This is the Bagger 288, one of the largest land vehicles in human history. Its mission isn't to dig deep, but to shave the very surface of the Earth, layer by layer relentlessly clearing away the overburden to expose the valuable coal seams beneath. Forget horsepower. Think in terms of pure, unstoppable momentum. At over 13,500 tons, the Bagger 288 weighs as much as the entire Eiffel Tower. Every single day, its massive wheel scoops up enough earth to fill a football stadium 100 feet deep. This isn't just digging, it's industrial-scale terraforming, operated by a small, dedicated crew who live and breathe its rhythm. This is the P&H 2800, a titan of pure, brute force. Tethered by a thick electrical cable that acts as its umbilical cord, the soul of this machine is relentless, earth-shattering power. Its job isn't elegant. It's to apply overwhelming force, ripping the valuable blast-fractured ore from the Earth's grip with unstoppable momentum. And it needs every bit of that energy. In a single upward punch, the 2800's bucket lifts over 70 tons of rock. To put that in perspective, that's like picking up an M1 Abrams main battle tank hoisting it three stories high and gently placing it in the back of a haul truck, all in under a minute. From a cab perched high on the machine's shoulder, a single operator becomes the brain for this 1,200-ton metal bicep orchestrating a powerful and repetitive dance with the haul trucks, a rhythm that dictates the entire mine's productivity. Deep in the copper canyons of Arizona's Ray Mine, a true titan reigns supreme. This is the P&H 4100, and it operates on a completely different scale of power. This isn't just another shovel, it's the heart of this entire operation, a legend forged in steel. Its singular purpose, to feed a fleet of equally massive Liebherr haul trucks, beasts in their own right. What we're seeing is a perfectly synchronized ballet of behemoths. And here is the astonishing reality of its power. In a single fluid motion, its bucket lifts 115 tons of raw ore. That's not just rock. That is the equivalent weight of an entire suburban house, foundation and all, scooped from the earth and swung through the air in seconds. We have witnessed the kings that rule within the pit, but now we meet the god that creates the pit itself. This is the Caterpillar 8200 dragline, a machine so immense it doesn't drive, 
it walks. This is not a loader, it's a landscape sculptor. Its sole purpose is to redraw the surface of the planet, peeling back millions of tons of earth and rock, the overburden, to reveal the precious coal seams buried beneath. It doesn't just dig, it reshapes geography. Its statistics defy belief. The colossal boom stretches out further than an entire American football field. But the real star is the bucket. It's less a bucket and more a cavern of steel, so vast you could comfortably park a dozen family cars inside it. In a single bite, it scoops up over 100 tons of material. Operating this behemoth requires a delicate touch that borders on art. From a control room perched stories high, the operator doesn't feel the ground. They feel the tension in the cables. They pilot this land-based battleship with the finesse of a fisherman casting a colossal line, a slow, hypnotic dance of immense power. The drag line carves away the old world. But where do you put the remains of a mountain? You can't just pile it up. You need to build a new world somewhere else. For that, you need a machine born from science fiction. This isn't a digger. It's a bridge that walks. This is the Takraf E RS-710 conveyor bridge. Its purpose is not to break the earth, but to span the void. It is the ultimate logistical masterpiece, a self-propelled steel river designed to continuously transport millions of tons of overburden from the excavators on one side of the pit to the dump site on the other. It is the mine's central nervous system. This is, quite simply, one of the largest movable objects ever built by humankind. How large? If you were to take the Eiffel Tower and lay it on its side, this machine would stretch out even longer. And flowing along its spine is a constant torrent of earth, moving fast enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool with rock in just 15 minutes. Watching it crawl across the landscape is like watching a tectonic plate in motion. It is a testament not just to operators, but to the master planners who think in decades, commanding not just a machine, but the very shape of the Earth itself, creating new landscapes in real time. So, we have journeyed through a land of mechanical gods, from the titans that break the Earth's crust, to the sculptors that reshape the horizon, and finally, to the impossible steel rivers that bridge the worlds they create. Each is a marvel of specialization. But the true masterpiece is the system itself, a symphony of engineering where brute force and elegant logistics work in perfect harmony. These machines prove that for humankind, no scale is too vast, no ambition too grand. They are more than just machines. They are the physical embodiment of the human will, forged in fire and ambition, turning the wildest dreams of engineering into a world-building reality. If this journey into the heart of extreme engineering left you speechless, help us build our community by hitting that like button. Subscribe and activate the bell so you won't miss our next deep dive into the world's most incredible machines.